This video is about some things you can do to improve the performance of a uh, small driver M0005 set. Um, and the first picture that I'm showing is the underside or the upside down view of uh, the engine. And it shows the motor and the uh, two drivers, which are very small drivers. And uh, they're the same size as the wheels on the cars. And the front wheels are not uh, powered. Um, this set um, uh, is uh, has a weight in it uh, mounted above the uh, the came came with it from the factory mounted above the wheels to help with the traction uh, problem that it has, but uh, it really doesn't do a lot of good. Although it's very heavy weight, you can add more weight to it, but uh, you can help it a little, but not much. The only solution, the best solution I could come up with was to add some very small rubber bands to the drivers. They're actually glued on with super glue. But once you do this, then you no longer have real good conductivity from the outside rails uh, through the drivers to the motor. So to cure this, I put a, uh, put a wire on the uh, upper side of the uh, wiper that wipes the axle on the uh, drivers and the air points to the bottom side of the wiper, but on the top side there's a wire that goes from there to the cross member that holds the motor in the shell. And that gives a, a metal connection uh, to the metal shell and actually all the way through the set because the connectors are all metal and the, everything is metal in the set. If you look at the uh, next picture you will see that the uh, apparently the Marx engineers put these uh, ridges on the bottom of the connectors uh, thinking that uh, gravity would pull down on the front end of the car and they would ride on the bottom of the uh, slot of the car in front of it and the ridges apparently were to reduce friction. But if you look at the next picture you will see the more typical wear pattern on a connector for a car which shows that the wear is actually on top of the connector not on the bottom. Now, I think what's happening, and it shows in this next picture, I think the car is acting as a lever, and the cars behind it are pulling on, the, on it um, in the backwards direction, which tends to raise the front end. So instead of gravity causing it to wear on the bottom, the uh, lever effect causes it to tend to wear on the top. This picture shows the... Uh, edge of the slot that the coupler has to ride against. Now this is an upside down view so uh, the car is turned upside down so the bottom in the picture the bottom part of the slot is actually the top part that the coupler uh, rubs against and it is very rough it causes a lot of friction. In this next picture uh, I show you uh, one possible solution. I took a large drinking straw and cut it to size and slid it down the side so that it will scroll and roll over the uh, part of the uh, uh, back there between the uh, rectangular slot and the, and the uh, rough edge of the slot. And this does two things really. Uh, it keeps the coupler off of that rough edge and it also gives the coupler something slicker to, to slide on. Another thing I've done is to uh, slightly oil both sides of the couplers on uh, every car and to give them a little more lubrication. In this next shot, uh, there's another problem illustrated. In the uh, in the engine, there's like I mentioned there's a large weight mounted above the the drivers, and it is mounted right in front of the pin that holds the uh, connector of the first car uh, in. Um, some of the cars, when used as the front car, the tips of the connector will actually hang up on the uh, weight as the car swings back and forth in a turn. Sometimes it will grab and, and uh, derail the car or the engine or both. So the solution to this was, was just to nip a little bit off of that front end of the first car, about an eighth of an inch, and that seemed to solve the problem. There's one other problem that I've noticed on uh, more, uh, these sets, um, and that's top wear on the cars, and it comes from the trailing car dragging, uh, rubbing across the top of the, fall of the car in front of it. And this is usually caused by a bent connector. You just need to straighten those up and make sure you've got clearance when the cars uh, bend back and forth through a turn. 
that's pretty much it uh, except one other thing if you're going to pull a lot of cars behind one of these or any uh, M0005 it's a good idea to put some weight in the first two or three cars because those have the most uh, stress on them and uh, most likely to derail uh, because of it so they probably need a little weight in those first two or three cars and that's it thanks